Yeah, very impressive work on the part of those police officers. Carolyn, this is off 13 Mile Road, and that buck was trapped right in that net you see right there behind us. He's a little bigger than the last one. Patrolling the streets of Franklin and Bingham Farms, officers Thomas Goodrow and Justin Wells come face to face with a 10 point buck trapped in the net of a soccer goal here at Bingham Farms Elementary at 8.30 a.m. It was jumping up and down. It was calling its horn. It was trying to get away. It was it was trying to escape essentially. Noticing how panicked the deer was, these quick thinking officers came up with a plan using a tool from their vehicle to help control the deer's legs while cutting netting that had started closing off around its neck. Once he had the deer, we had the deer secured on the ground, approached it nice and slow. Um, got, I stepped my one foot on the one horn that was on the ground to secure it even more. And once I got next to it, I could hear the deer actually breathe like really heavily and kind of like relax. He was able to kind of distracted here for a second for me to be able to put a dog snare on his back leg. And when it realized that happened, I was able to be able to get the deer to lay down. And I just kept enough pressure that Officer Goodrow was able to get to the top of the head. Minutes later, they were making progress, but still had to be extra careful. With a deer, you never know when it's going to kick its back legs at you. It could, uh, could really hurt you pretty badly. Um, either from the back or its horns can pretty much impale you. At this point, you can see the deer realizing the netting is no longer attached then standing up to run off back into the wilderness. A proud moment for these two officers. It felt really good. It felt really good. It's something you don't really come across too much as far as rescuing deer, but it was something really, really cool. Of course, it's difficult to train for something like this, but we've learned those officers have quite a bit of experience. They have rescued other deer before. Reporting live, Simon Shaykat, 7 Action News. Carolyn? Oh.